Burr investors or folks that want to be Burr investors or even out-of-state Burr investors especially, this show is for you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to Holton Wise TV. Today, we are watching another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise, and this is the third video I filmed today for you, Michelle. You are a real estate investor, uh, a new real estate investor. You actually are, this is going to be your first investment. You're getting started in your career. You work as a bookkeeper for an incredibly wealthy real estate developer and investor. And uh, you want to get started f with your own personal portfolio. And he has backed you. That's very great. You're doing some networking and you've obtained yourself $75,000 of private money from your boss. Great job out of you. And, uh, this, like I said, this is the third video I've done for you today. This is actually the fourth video I've done for you total, okay? Uh, first, I sent you that quad a week or so ago, but then you, you wanted to redirect me, and you're like, hey, man, let's hit these C-class assets. I want to max out my cash flow, okay? So then I just gave you those two duplexes, very similar numbers, but two different ways to do them. And then this one, Michelle, this is actually my favorite property. I saved the best for last with this one, but I, I, I'm going to tell you right up front, it's going to be a slight stretch. You're going to have to, to stretch for me here uh, if you want to take this down because the other two I set them up where you could use his funds and his funds only. This one, if you do this and you do the burst strategy on it, it's going to require you to come up with another $10,000. But in my opinion, it's going to be worth it. 4481 West 30th, Cleveland 44109 on the market for less than a month. 749 is the asking price. Now, here's the deal. Those other two properties, the neighborhood was not as nice. Okay, this neighborhood, those are like DC. This neighborhood's like high C. All right, so that's number one. Number two, this is a true two bed, one bath duplex. Just a big, old, beautiful old Brooklyn duplex. Okay, well, I mean, the inside's not beautiful. And, well, I mean, okay, technically the outside is, is not actually beautiful right now either, but like the structure of this son of a bitch is great. All right, the other, the other two properties, okay, they were cool. But each of them had a 2-1 and a 1-1. One, one. This is two 2-1s, two right? That's the best unit you can get, right? We're going to max out the rent on this thing. Market rent on this this bad boy is going to be 1500 a month. Each of those units bringing in 750 so 18000 a year. Long-term performance, Michelle, under our same normal metrics here that you can anticipate our average metrics. You should be bringing in $8,640 a year in clear profit okay clear profit not including the money we're saving for your capex your vacancy and your non-payment and your repairs and your maintenance especially with all these properties too you got to understand you're never buying properties like this guys uh, unless i specifically mention it with like all brand new mechanicals your roofs your furnaces your hot water tanks they're always like in the middle to end of life cycles typically right unless they specifically say so right because you know you're you're the current owner right you got a furnace it's 23 years old, right? Well, they last about 30 years, so you're very close to the end, but you ain't going to just replace it, right? You probably got another seven years out of it, right? So you guys got to think about stuff like that, okay? Now, this, though, inside, before we get to that beautiful $1,500 a month in rent, we got to do some work, right? We got one unit that's empty, and it, it looks like dog shit, okay? It's it's all beat up. We're going to have to do everything in here. Like, And by the way, this is, this, is not what, <laughs> this is not what I like to see. I do not like to see crappy... Uh, outside of the wall, uh, plastic plumbing in the kitchen. That's that's a no gooder. All right, that is definitely, definitely a no gooder. And then of course, you know, we need to do the, the normal, you know, the normal uh, cosmetic stuff. Like this kitchen ain't nobody paying you seven fifty to rent this kitchen with these like shitty ass pink tiles, some crazy up down countertop cabinet setup that doesn't match this fucking shit ass door this looks like somebody's been smoking 45 packs of marble reds in this house every goddamn day for the last fucking 500 years so you know stuff like that right so you know structurally she's a big old butte but like cosmetically she's ugly as all hell right you got the you know 1980s vanity with the little 
gold uh, faucet and, you know, more pink tile throughout, right? They're consistent, okay? All right, so we're going to have to give these units some love, right? This this unit needs love, okay? Uh, but, you know, we do have the nice, and that's what's cool about these, like, two twos, right? These old broken duplexes with the two twos. They're all set up the same way. This is now the front of the unit, right? So this is your living room. This is your dining room. They always have these built-ins. And then that kitchen, that ugly-ass kitchen, is actually back here. And then to the left of it, you have two bedrooms with that bathroom, the little pink tile bathroom in the middle. They're all set up the exact same way. I've literally got hundreds of these in my portfolio. It's the ideal layout, right? So paint. Floors. We're going to refinish those hardwoods, do the kitchens, do the baths, get this thing looking, you know, good again. Very nice. $750 a month tenants in there. You know, just all this ugliness you're seeing. We're going to get rid of all of that, okay? And it's eventually going to be a rock star for you. Now, as far as how much that's going to cost, that's going to cost about $30,000. And remember, that's just to get those two units up to where I need them to be. Agreeable gray paint, white trim, refinished hardwoods, matching vinyl lower flooring in the kitchens and the baths, nice modern kitchens. People will pay seven fifty. dollars We can get Section 8 tenants. We can get cash tenants. It's going to cost 30 Gs to get us there. Now, I want you to buy it all cash. Try to get it for fifty five. dollars That would be you all in for $85,000, right? I got to have you stretch here, though, because the cool thing about this is once you do that, once you provide that to the market, we will have no issue getting this thing to appraise for 100 Gs. If it appraises for 100 Gs, the bank's going to give you back 75 Gs, meaning you only got 10000 into the deal. That's a 48.5% cash-on-cash return, and you're going to be bringing in 1500 to twos and in my opinion of the three i've shown you today this is the highest quality neighborhood you're going to have the highest quality arv i think this is the one you want to do one caveat just so you know you don't necessarily want to do that whole thirty thousand dollar renovation right up front because we are dealing with one inherited tenant one of the units is vacant the other unit has a month-to-month -month tenant at 500 so uh we could do what we're trying to do uh with the last property where we just slowly increase their rents um, keep them in there, right? You don't need to immediately remove them. But what I would do, I, you know, you always want to bring the money in, right? You never want to just kick out money uh, in an effort to just spend more money. But what you should do, you should time it right, right? So you renovate the vacant unit, bring in that $750 tenant. Maybe you're bumping this $500 tenant up 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. But by the time you go to refinance it, you want to have that unit renovated and get the, the full market rent tenant in there because our goal is to max out that appraisal, right? Get that $100,000 appraisal. And by the way, it's not uh, going to be unheard of to get a duplex like this to appraise for $100,000 in this neighborhood without having all the new mechanicals. You do not need to have two brand new furnaces, two brand new hot water tanks, and a brand spanking new roof to get it to appraise at 100 Gs. As long as, you know, things are reasonable, like if every one of your items like that is ready to go, it's probably going to appraise short. But uh, if they're like mid to end of life, uh, still getting that price point, not going to be a problem, right? The, the neighborhood's carrying some value here for you, right? So, Michelle, that is three properties uh, that I thought would work for you after your most recent feedback after I did that quad video for you. Uh, three different type of options here, but all of which I think will work. Uh, let me know uh, which one, if any, you want to make offers on. And my team, we will uh, write up those offers for you, try to uh, get these deals for you. Then, of course, when we get to the inspection, if anything that we're not anticipating just yet pops up, we can go back to those sellers and attempt to renegotiate that for you. And then once we get to the closing table, my team will be the people that can take all of this on for you, right? We'll handle the property management. We'll handle the maintenance. We'll handle the landscaping. We'll handle any any and all of these repairs. We can do the insurance for you. We even have title companies to make sure the transaction goes as smooth as humanly possible. So let us know what you'd like to do, Michelle. We've created this whole turnkey experience for you, but allowed you to get into these properties, put in some sweat equity, uh, take a little bit of risk, do the bird deals, and actually recapture a lot of that return, right? That's what a normal turnkey company will not do for you. So, folks, if you want to work with me in the same way Michelle is, 
send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, or click the show notes below. Just so you know, if you do send us an email, give us your phone number, guys. We'll give you a call. We'll talk to you. You'll get to know us. We'll get to know you, yada, yada, yada. That's all I've got for today, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.